that's the beauty of planning is doing what works for you. Hi guys, welcome back to another channel on Planetoid. In today's video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you may feel like you may need a planner reset. I thought it'll be the perfect time for this video because the new month is approaching and I'm about to go through a planner reset right now. So I thought based off my experience and just because I like making content for you guys that I would make this video for you in hopes that you guys will find it helpful or you can simply relate or I don't know, it may inspire you to go ahead and do a planner reset. For me, when it comes to resetting my planner, I don't care if I change my planner one time a year, no time a year, or 20 times a year. If I want to change my planner, I'm going to change my planner. It is nothing wrong with that. And don't ever feel like because you have a planner that you have to get to the very end of that planner. No, you don't. It's so many planners to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. I have my little notepad of notes to tell you guys. The first reason why you feel like you might need a planner reset is because you're not using your planner as much or not at all. And I can attest to this. I definitely stopped using my planner as much solely because I got, you know, a little bit tired and I got a little bit comfortable. Honestly, I haven't been super, super busy lately. So I kind of just got comfortable with going to work, going to the gym, coming home. And that's pretty much it. And sometimes I feel like when I don't have a lot to do, there's no need for a planner. However, I always have a planner even when I don't have a lot to do. So I don't know. I, I kind of miss using my planner and wanted to come back to it. So it's time for me to do a reset. The second reason why you may feel like you need a planner reset, I can fully attest to this because I slightly feel this way now, is you're feeling burned out. Simple as that. Even the most perfect person who planned their day and have the most perfect routine can also get burned out. So yeah, if you feel burned out, two things. You might need to take a break. I always encourage breaks, especially social media breaks. It can get tiring. So I always encourage taking a break, even if you need to take a break from your planner, which I think I kind of did, right? And then the other thing is when you use your planner, sometimes I think the planner community as planners we tend to get a little too deep in our planning to the point where we're thinking a little too much. And when the plan doesn't go our way, you know, the world is in shambles when that is not true at all. If you feel burned out, maybe take a break or simply just switch your planner. Your planner might not be storing enough stuff. You might need to get a larger planner or your planner may be too big and you have too much space. So you might need to get a smaller planner. So yeah, that burnout is real. If you ever feel burnt out, I highly encourage you guys to take a break. That's what I do. <laughs> I am not afraid to take a break and come back when I can. I am absolutely happy to be back too. So that's good. The third reason why you feel like you may need a planner reset is because you lack creativity and inspiration. At one point, you was probably really inspired by seeing all these different spreads, all these different planner groups, all these different planner brands and stickers. And now you're just kind of like, eh, I don't really care. Or it's getting boring or it's getting kind of old. So when you lack inspiration or wanting to be creative, what do you do about that? You obviously find a new outlet. And that's why I highly encourage changing your planner throughout the year. It keeps it fresh. It's always something new, something fun. And if you're like me and you like to do a Boho inspired planner where you can have a free canvas and decorate however you want versus having a structured layout, that can be fun as well. That definitely brings a breath of fresh air to your layout. It's really fun. I highly encourage try and get one time. Find a page in your planner, especially if you have a structured planner, and have a blank canvas and just go out, do whatever kind of spread you want, even if it's on that page. Now, for me, I like to do full planner. And from time to time, I might do a structured planner, but honestly, I can't ever decide. 
So that's why I'm always switching planners. <laughs> the fourth reason you feel like you may need a planner reset is because you're trying something new or something new has happened in your life. So for example, maybe you just became a mother or something. So now your days and weeks have gotten a lot busier or, you know, you got a brand new job or even at one point when I first started Planazoid and started my business, I definitely felt like I needed to change my planner because my little tiny cute little micro wasn't fitting everything the way I wanted it to. Now it's still my planner piece and I still plan to do spreads in my micro, but I'm going to use it for something completely different. And that's another side tip. If you are looking for some kind of inspiration or creativity, why not, you know, have multiple planners and use them for different things? Now, don't go crazy because honestly, having multiple planners is a lot of work. However, if you do use one planner, for example, like for self-care, which is what I'm trying to do, I think that will make planning a lot easier and definitely fun. <laughs> Another thing that's happening is, you know, the new season is changing. Right now, fall is here, October is coming, so I am ecstatic to be resetting my planner and trying something different. And actually, I do have a planner reset video coming out soon. I'm still in the works of trying to figure out how I want to format my planner and get my planner system. But yeah, if you're trying something new or a new life event has happened in your life, you may need a planner reset solely because you have to fit everything the way that you want to fit it, right? Makes sense. And then the last reason why you feel like you may need a planner reset is, this is me, just because <laughs> I love changing my planner throughout the year. So if you just feel like changing it up just because, why not? Nothing wrong with that. It is not the end of the world. It is not going to hurt anybody. And you can always do what I do. I do keep my previous spreads and I just put them somewhere else because I love showing you guys inspiration with my spreads. So I can always look back on them and reference them. If I need new ideas, I want to show you guys ideas. So it's nothing wrong with just simply resetting because you want to. And it makes you feel better. Sometimes we all need a reset. It makes you feel better. I know when I reset my planner, every time I change it up, I instantly feel more productive. Even though all I did was decorate my planner, I didn't even get to the planning part. I just feel a lot more productive. So you got to do what works for you. That's the beauty of planning is doing what works for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was short, straight to the point. You know, I'm trying to give y'all that helpful content. So definitely stay tuned for my upcoming videos, my planner resets, and I got a few tutorials coming your way, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more content of DIY stationary crafts. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.